I'm Jessica Dean with your evening digital news brief for Tuesday, March 13th. Radnor police have located an SUV they say was involved in a deadly hit and run. The white SUV was caught on surveillance video leaving the scene on Lancaster Avenue last Tuesday. A 69 year old man was killed in that crash. Officers located the SUV inside an auto body shop and they say they're cautiously optimistic they'll make an arrest soon. The city of Philadelphia is taking new steps to combat the opioid crisis. Health Commissioner Thomas Farley announced a campaign that urges the public to carry the overdose reversal drug naloxone. Now, I think the most important thing and the most rewarding thing that any of us can ever do is to save a life of another human being. Today, anyone in Philadelphia can become a hero by saving a life. More than 1,200 people in Philadelphia died from overdoses last year. You can get naloxone at any pharmacy in the city without a prescription. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy wants to hike several taxes as part of his first budget proposal. He proposed increasing the sales tax to 7%. He also suggested legalizing recreational marijuana and taxing that to generate more revenue for the Garden State. The Eagles have cut fan favorite Brent Selleck. The team let the tight end go to save money for the salary cap. Selleck was the longest tenured Philadelphia athlete after spending 11 years with the Birds. He only missed one game during that time. And remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. For the Evening Digital Brief, I'm Jessica Dean.